Hey everyone, it's Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Thanks a lot for coming by to check out another video. I am back from New York City and boy oh boy, if you go back to my prior video where I talk about how to run your reselling business when you are away on vacation or for a business trip, one of the things I talked about in that video came true, which is making sure you leave enough time for yourself when the trip is over, anticipate problems and delays because I had two flight cancellations plus a delay on the third flight that I wound up booking. So I got home later than expected, but put all my packages together that sold and I'm all set. Um, I wanted to make sure that I did a video for you and give you a little update on something that happened while I was away. So while I was away, I still keep my business running. I just changed the handling time. So uh, just bumped it up uh, to two days instead of one because I wasn't going to be gone that long. And if you remember the uh, prior part one of the comic book haul video that I did, now I'm going to do part two hopefully later on tonight. But if you didn't see part one, I'll link to it at the end of this video. But uh, you remember from that video, one of the things I was looking for when we were going through all those Marvel Age comics was Marvel Age number 41 because that has Stan Lee on the cover. And Stan Lee recently just passed away and he's just such an iconic figure in the whole comic book industry, particularly Marvel. And he's just responsible for you know creating and, and just fostering the development of so many important comic book characters, uh, most notably, I would say, Spider-Man. But um, I found the book, and it's the one book that I listed for sale from the collection, because it's the only one I had time to list. And remember, just to take you back to that collection, I spent $125 for 1,000 plus comic books. So I pulled this one out and within 24 hours, this sold, I actually took a best offer on it, uh, $44.99. Now, this book has sold for as high as $80 in near mint condition, but you have to respond to the current marketplace, not only what people have previously sold the item for. So I actually had competition on this item from another excellent seller with a great uh, reputation, 100% positive feedback. He had the book in near mint condition and he was selling it for a little bit over $50. So that's why I priced it lower than him, $49.99. And that's one of the points that I want to make is that you could afford to price it lower like that as long as you're sourcing them for around 12 and a half cents per comic, 15 cents per comic, you know, something like that, something in that 10 to 20 cent range. Uh, so with this selling at $45, that gives me about a third of my investment in the collection back, and that's just by selling one book. And so I'll just pull some other ones out that have similar value, or I'll bundle some together that have similar value, and I'll make my money back from the collection very fast. I want to show you some other examples of how I've done that through some other collections. Uh, this would be my spreadsheet down here where, I, you know, I, I the reason I'm going to show you this is because I had someone, and I don't know if the person's watching this, but the person said, yes, we want a part two of the video, and I also want a, a part three where you show items from this collection that you sold. And I said, well, you know, I really show those from time to time in my what sold videos. I don't really do a, a follow-up video where I show everything that I've sold from the collection because I, I just sell them over time. It just spreads out. But I figured I would show this one because this is a good example. But it got me to thinking, you know, I have some other collections with some data on them and I could give you an example of how you make your money back real fast from the collections and uh, how much profit you can make. So this is um, uh, basically my spreadsheet of comic book sales and there's a lot more of them here. I just name them based on the city where I bought them from or uh, sometimes after the person who I bought them from. So I just give them little names and we'll start with this one here. Now this is my best ever comic book collection haul. Uh, this is a 
basically an assortment of, I, I can't even tell you how many comics are, are, I mean, we're talking thousands and thousands, four um, truckloads of comic books, plus comic book art and other collectibles. And I got all of it for around $900. Now that might sound like a lot of money, but for everything I got, it's really not that much money. Uh, and here's an example right here. If you look at this amazing, these are all the sales I've made so far, and I still have a ton of it left, so this is just putting a tiny dent in what I found there. Uh, this is amazing Spider-Man number 300 right there, and it might be hard for you to see because the font, but it's this one right over here. Amazing Spider-Man 300. It's notable because it's the first uh, full appearance of Venom in the comic book, plus uh, it's the 300th issue it's amazing spider-man which i talked about in the prior video that's the number one comic book title you want to find for spider-man is the amazing spider-man it's a 25th anniversary issue there's just so much going on with it todd mcfarland famous artist is you know it's one of his first few issues that he, he drew for spider-man so there's just so much going on that made it made it so important and I found it at this estate sale. I've talked about this story before, but it was it was actually below a garbage bag in a manila file folder. I pulled it out. It was in near mint condition. I didn't even send it off to get officially graded and certified. And it, it sold to someone in New York, which is why you see this price of 62606, because that includes the tax. But the sale price was five hundred and seventy-five dollars on that item. I mean, just absolutely crazy. Um, and you can see here as I scroll down, like the prices for some of these things. I mean, here we have a ninety-nine. 99 sale for an amazing spider-man number one that was uh, cgc so that one means it was graded i did find uh, one slab there one certified uh, comic book in a slab uh, here's another sale here for 144 dollars and 99 cents that's just for a book that was signed uh, by the author Mark, Mark Texiera, so it's helpful to know the comic book artist. And you can see there's other things here though that are selling for lower, $11.99, you know, $19.99, $23.99, $38, $20. But the point is all of this adds up because I added up on the bottom here. Now remember, I invested $900 into that collection and so far, just after selling a fraction of it off, this is net. This is net, so this is $4,386.69. Now, this does not subtract out my uh, my cost of goods, so uh, that's the only part. When I say net, so it's net minus the shipping and the, and the taxes and the eBay fees and the PayPal fees. So that would be around $3,300, $3,400 uh, factoring in the cost of goods. Um, but, uh, you know, that's overall just very, very good return on investment uh, for, you know, for what I got. And that's just, again, that's just a piece of it. I have a lot of it left and uh, I'm just, you know, selling it bit by bit uh, every day. I just list parts of it. Uh, here's another one here that I wound up getting in uh, Salve, New York. This is a collection I bought for 200 and twenty-five dollars. A uh, person originally wanted three hundred or two seventy-five, so we negotiated a bit. And one of the things that he had in there that was great. I talk about this a lot. Are Deadpool comic books, and you could see I lotted them together. So here I sold sixty-one of the Deadpool comics, mostly from volume three, four, and five, and I sold those for a hundred and seventy-five dollars. So that's most of the collection investment back right there and this was about eight or nine long boxes of comics so we're talking thousands and thousands of comic books so that's just 61 it sounds like a lot maybe if you're new into comics but it's actually a small amount of the overall collection and this is another one where I've only sold a fraction of it so far so remember $225 investment and if you look down here to see how much I uh, wound up making back from it so far, and this is net, uh, you see $1,874.55. Uh, that doesn't factor in the um, uh, the cost of goods, so it's subtract 225 from that. So that's about you know $1,600. Uh, right there for a $225 investment. And again, that's not the end of the story. This is just um, 
you know, putting a dent of two, this is about two of the eight boxes worth that's sold. And so you could see the type of money that is, uh, by the way, this is Deadpool, if you're not familiar with the character right here, you need to be able to recognize him because if you see comic books with him on it, you need to pick it up. But uh, this is why I talk about comic books and I focus on comic books a lot and I wanna share more of it with you because there's just so much of a great, great return on investment potential in it if you get educated and you know what you're doing. It does take time to learn. I would not suggest going out and buying eight long boxes of comics or thousands of thousands of comics at first. You want to start with a small collection, but you know, somewhere um, to like 600 maybe to a thousand uh, and spend the amount of money that I spent on that last one because you know, even if even if you mess it up, you could still hold a garage sale and sell the comics for a dollar each or 50 cents each and you'll still make a profit on it. So um, you know, I hope this video helps you out, uh, gives you kind of a sense. And uh, one person uh, recently contacted me uh, yesterday, actually said that this uh, these types of videos uh, motivated him to go down into uh, his uh, into his house and uh, get these long boxes of comics that he had down there and start going through them and organizing them. And that's the thing; they take patience. Uh, it, it really does require patience to go through this. You should enjoy it on some level to do it. If you don't have some kind of investment into the comics or or like it in some way, it's definitely going to be tougher, not impossible, but it makes it more enjoyable if you can relate to the characters in some way. So um, finally, on the last note related to comic books, uh, I'm going to be talking about comic books tonight. Uh, this is the 21st of February 2019. Uh, if you're watching this at a later point, uh, make sure you check out the Jason T. Smith YouTube channel. I'm uh, fortunate enough to be his guest tonight, and we're going to talk about comic books and many other things. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, the link is in my Facebook group, and it's also uh, right there on his channel. So all you have to do is type in Jason T. Smith, and you'll see it. If you happen to catch this uh, at a later time, just go back to his channel, and it's right around this time. Uh, February 21st, you'll see the video posted. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited to it. Stay tuned for part two of the comic book haul video. And don't worry if you don't like comic books and you're you're wanting to see me do some other topics. I will get into those again soon, but I just want to uh, focus on this because a lot of people told me they really want me to do some more coverage of comics. So that's why we're uh, we're focused on that a bit this week. So that's about it. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Very important. Uh, make sure you share this video with others if you think that uh, it's helpful for them or just share the channel with others. Let them know there's some cool content going on here. Over 325 videos all dedicated to helping you with your reselling business. Uh, make sure you come to that Facebook group. It's the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. Over 6,700 members of that group right now. It just grows like crazy every day. And follow me on Instagram at prime underscore time underscore treasure. I'll see you all at the next video, everyone. Take care.